Bears and Baldy Locks. Once upon a time, there were three bears. A mama bear. Hi. A papa bear. Hello. And a baby bear. Hello. They hadn't eaten for days and were starving. Sorry, if I don't, I'm so hungry. If I don't get something to eat soon, All of a sudden, they smell the wonderful smell. What is that delicious smell? I don't know. They left their cramped cave and went out and explored to try and find the location of that wondrous smell. They walked for what seemed to be hours when they came across a giant cottage. Oh my god. But, oh wow, this is such a big house. We should see if anyone's home. home. They went up to the they tiny door. They went up to the tiny door and Papa Bear knocked. Oh, is anyone there? But he knocked so hard that he knocked the whole door down. Well, we. Well, we. That's. Might as well go inside. Right, we, so we can find that dad light from Santa's coming from. They walked inside and instantly were overwhelmed with how beautiful the house was. Oh wow, look how beautiful this is. Mommy, Daddy, look at this pretty painting. Baby Bear ran up to the painting and pointed. But in doing so, he accidentally poked it so hard that he ripped the painting right in half. As he ripped the painting in half, there was an entirely different room behind the painting. There were guard dogs that came running out and built the fence in front of the painting. The guard dogs ate the gummy bears up, but behind the guard dogs, there was the cutest cat that ever that ever walked the land. Her name was Pepper. Pepper was secretly trained in martial arts and karate shot baby bear on the, onto the other side of the wall and ate all the rest of the gummy bears. Yummy! Oh no. Oh no. Oh no! Oh, no. Uh, what do we do? Obviously, whoever's house this is was probably not like coming home from dogs running all over and place ice everything broken down. So they started to clean up the house and hope that the owner of the big house would not come before they went down. After they had finished cleaning, they were hungry, so they decided to go to the kitchen and make some food. But before they were able to get to the kitchen, when they heard the door unlock. Quick, we have to check. Quick, we have to hide. Okay. So they all hid behind whatever was close enough. Baby Bear made a run upstairs and hid behind a chair that he could barely sit on, more so when he hid behind it. Mama Bear tried hiding behind a table, but she was too big for the table as well. And Papa Bear ran and hid right next to the doorway, hoping not to be seen. The dog sugar rush was over, and they jumped back into the room behind the painting. Pepper drew a picture and jumped up to the room before sticking the new painting on top. Just then, Baldy Locks went into the kitchen. <laughs> What happened here? My poor home! Oh. As Baldy Locks walked around her house, looking at the poor wreck the bears had made, the bears felt guilty and decided to come out and apologize to poor Baldy Locks. Well, I guess I can. After all, it wasn't you guys' fault. Hey, I have an idea. Let's clean up the house and then we can celebrate our new friendship. What do you guys think? Yeah! Yeah! So they all started to clean up the house, and when they were done, they got the feast they had been waiting for the entire time. <laughs> they stuffed their bellies full, and when they couldn't eat anymore, they thanked Baldy Locks and went on their way. Thank you! Thank you. I thank Bye. you! Yeah. To this day, Baldy Locks and the three bears are still best friends and will always be for the rest of their lives. Of course, that is until they get hungry again and go to Baldy Locks' house when she